Hello everybody, Victor here. This video is made for you guys to show you how to use properly my recently released hard surface kit bash of tubes, pipes and hoses and some cables over here. So when you open it, the first you see is these collections over here. This is like examples of what you can do with this kit bash. They are separated in collections as you can see over here. We have tubes, uh, hoses and cables and they are separated as well as collections per object like for example if we go here this is hoses one and if we look inside hoses one we have different collections per object so in this way you can easily append the collection or the entire collection that you want and it's more easy and this is because some objects are parented to others like for example, these clothes over here are parented to this connector, so it's more easy to, in this case, append hoses 6, 3, for example, and you don't lose any geometry. Then we have some other special ones, like these cables with clothes wrapped, and, and these ones are more like baked clothes over here, as you can see as well as some others like these cables over here with this kind of uh, zip plastic and these are made uh, first we achieve the curve and later we tweak our geometry in order to achieve this effect like uh, these ones for example and also most of the objects are subdip ready like for example this one if you go to modifiers here we can see we have a bevel modifier and a subdivision surface so most of these assets are subdivided ready but yeah uh, some of them just have a bevel depending on the topology of the component for example this one doesn't have any subsurf modifier but we can play one really easy and we have a more um, high resolution object so for these ones is like uh, suggestions of what you can do and then we have here the utilities collection as you can see over here inside this utilities collection we have some cutters which are the boolean objects for some of these pieces for some of these components we have the curves and meshes and the notes i give you over here so for example we have here this pipe or this tube and we have applied an array modifier and uh, a curve and then a subdivision surface if you want also notice that the origin of these of these curves and and of the meshes itself are at the beginning of the curve and this is in order to place these different uh, connectors in a more easy way for example we have here this curve and we can press shift s and cursor to select it and then grab some connector this or this one and uh, shift s and selection to cursor so you have placed it over here and it's more easy to just merge those vertex and connect things so for example this shape let's imagine that you want another shape or another length i'm going to disable these collections over here and i select the curve and the mesh and shift and d and i duplicate one copy over here and now we just uh, tweak this curve modifier we can scale this a little bit and maybe I'm going to top view and rotate 90 degrees and go over here and then extrude another one as you can see we don't have any more geometry but we just have to increase the array modifier and that's it so you can change easily the shape of your curves once you are happy just apply the array modifier and the curve modifier so you just have this mesh already done and you just have to again uh, shift s cursor to select it and for example this one i'm gonna make another copy shift and d and uh, shift s selection to cursor and there we are and the same for the other part this is an example of this one in particular then we have uh, another kind of uh, shapes over here for example this one is controlled by a screw modifier is joining this mesh along a curve then we have the iterations to adjust the length of the of the tube and again just uh, duplicate a copy and uh, select the curve and tweak 
place the cursor over here and select one connector uh, maybe this one or this one and the same make a copy and shift s selection to cursor and it's more uh, easy to quickly put your connectors in place another one is this uh, kind of spiral hose you have here uh, three main steps to accomplish the shape so first of all I, I make a copy of these curves this is just a single vertex uh, with a screw modifier and some iterations and then the, the, the actual curve applied so for example I'm gonna tweak a little bit this curve for, over here, uh, select these two vertex of the curve and move it a little bit and then rotate this as well and move it over here I don't know, something like this now I adjust the iterations of the screw modifier and once I'm happy with the shape of the curve I make a copy of the curve and the mesh and I apply the screw and the curve modifier so now we have this mesh over here, I am going to object convert to curve. Now I can go to the curve settings and adjust the bevel, the depth of the bevel. And there we go, we have this shape. Now I make another copy, so I have always a backup of the main uh, settings of the shape. And right click convert to mesh. And now we have this mesh already done, now we can shade the smooth maybe tweak a little bit with the proportional editing just move it a little bit some parts so here maybe is some uh, intersection over here but we can tweak a little bit and now we have uh, other shapes over here prepared for attached to the new shape this is just a cylinder with a array modifier and a curve modifier as you can see here we can tweak the shape of this curve so this is made in order to attach it to the end of the of the tube so I make a copy over here uh, by the way make sure that the final uh, resolution of the cylinder is the same as the one you have over here you could change very easily but this resolution over here works pretty well so what I'm gonna do now is uh, while this is uh, parented to, to the curve and the curve has this origin we can uh, place the cursor at the end of this section with Control s and cursor to select it and now we just need to wrap this curve and shift s selection to cursor now we can enter edit mode at this cylinder and scale it a little bit to match the section and maybe let's go to wireframe and rotate it in, in set axis to match a little bit better the topology there we go and now before apply anything onto this actual curve we could change its shape with this contour point so maybe you want more this this kind of uh, shape these two contour points are intended to be aligned because if you want to put this piece of you need this kind of section and once you are happy with the shape of the curve just apply the array and the curve modifier and now just join these two meshes uh, this one to this one or it doesn't matter because you don't have any modifier so I'm gonna attach to this one with Ctrl J and now if we go to edit mode we see here that we have to weld some vertex so I'm going to select this edge loop press G twice and move it down and now with the selection mode in tweak and the snapping to vertex we activate auto merge over here at this little button and we just grab a vertex and with control just snap to another and that's it and this as well has its origin point so if you want you can place the cursor here at the end of this loop uh, cursor to select it and select this uh, connection and shift s selection to cursor and with this object as well shift s selection to cursor and place it over here and maybe you have to tweak some position or, or maybe some some rotation but in this way is more easy and fast and the same for the other side 
we have here prepared this symmetrical part so just the same for the other part then we have other type of uh, shape for example this one with this uh, plastic zip ties uh, around these cables these cables are made by curves in order if you, if you want to make some uh, variation maybe you want to make some configuration of cables like like this and, and then apply a curve so I give this uh, freedom in this kind of, of shapes then again once you apply this all these curves you just have to tweak a little bit with the proportional editing to fit into this uh, zip tie and, and you're done we have another example here where we have a curve uh, with the shape so this is a curve and the bevel is driven by this uh, curve shape so you can tweak the shape of these uh, cables and then again once you apply this curve modifier let's actually make, make a an example I'm gonna make a copy over here with shift and D select all these curves modifier and go to edit mode and for example I want uh, actually I'm going to local view now select these curves and let's uh, move this up a little bit And as you can see, this uh, plastic tie is out of the mesh and you just have to uh, tweak the offset of the array modifier and put it wherever you want or maybe put more ties with the count of the array. Okay, let's put three in this case and over here. Okay, so once you have this, maybe you want to tweak uh, some other aspects of these curves. So maybe I can grab this curve and grab these two vertex and subdivide them and make a slightly different shape over here and grab this one and make as well another shape so I subdivide it and move it this way and maybe more so let's say that you are happy with this shape of the cables and the curves so first of all I'm going to apply the curve modifier or maybe the solidify and array modifier I'm going to apply all and then I select these curves and right click convert to mesh so now we just uh, select uh, some vertex and with the proportional editing add connected only and make sure you don't have the auto merge enabled and you just start moving some vertex to fit into this actual plastic tie so this is pretty match the workflow that I followed in order to to make all these shapes that are in, in the in the other collections so basically I provide these tools or these base meshes to to give you the the freedom of create anything you want with with this on the other part we have some connections that are made with booleans in the collection of cutters we have these shapes so this is in order if in case you want to change some aspect of these connectors uh, or you know just for for you to have it here and non-destructive we have as well for example here the mesh with the boolean applied and with just a bevel modifier but well in case you want to change something you always have here the option for example here we have a displacement modifier for this kind of holes over here in this connector and you can adjust with the strength or maybe you can move some aspect if you want to to tweak it's good to have it here and once you have your shapes let's say you want to save this in order to have it uh, easily to append into your project I suggest placing it into a self collection inside of his family so for example this one is hoses 5 so I will make a collection here call it hoses 5 4 and I will select this new shape and move it to hoses 5 4 and just if you want to move it over here to have more sense and now you just have to uh, append this whole collection over here and there you have it thank you for watching in case you already purchased it i hope you like it and enjoy it in case you didn't and you are interested on my heart surface kit rush packs i will leave in the description some links to this product so take a look thank you again and enjoy